Hey guys, happy Monday. As you know, I'm a writer and a poet. I have been since 17. I've touched up on many different subjects, over a thousand poems. So I decided to bring back my column that I started two years ago. Yes, here on Facebook. It's what I call the triple threat A. Ask Andy anything. Message me a question about relationship, politics, sex, religion, family, death, or life in my inbox, and I'll post the answer on my wall and notes anonymously. Just tell me the city and state and hopefully I can be of an assistance. Anonymous West Virginia, question 126. Dear Andy, I have a fear of water. I have ever since I was younger. My father threw me in the deep end of the pool and forced me to swim. I have gone through a lot of traumatic episodes since this. There are times where I haven't even wanted to shower because of it. I have spoken to therapists about this, but it's been really hard because even they have gotten impatient. I have heard some of the responses you have given other people. I think maybe you can help me. Do you have any advice? I'm really sorry your father did that. Sometimes people try to help but go at it the wrong way. It's horrible you have to suffer so long psychologically because of this. I'm a true believer on facing your demons, but it has to happen with time. Rome wasn't built in a day. I'm not a therapist, but maybe going at it in steps, maybe listening to sounds of water, opening a faucet, looking at it run, having someone you really trust be with you, holding a conversation may help, and up. When you get confident enough, maybe dipping your feet into a pool. I understand that giving advice are just words, but you, my friend, have to put the effort to actually try. Because if you don't, water will always be that monster hiding in that closet and fear will never go away. So remember, take it in steps, but try.